so next is uh, neck, neck lump a uh, 52 year old man present with a mass in the left hand side of the neck it has been there for about four months he is a heavy smoker how will you assess him so i will take history that uh, for how long this lump is there uh, is it giving is it sore tender painful the patient smokes patient drinks alcohol any recent change in the horse or uh, change in the voice or hoarseness any difficulty in eating dysphagia any previous malignancy or hiv any systemic symptom like malaise weight loss night sweats and then i will conduct an examination first of all i will see the location um, and then i will see the tender consistency margins fixed to the local structures move, movement of the um, uh, lump with swelling moving of the lump with protein of the tongue pulsatility ears nose and throat um, examination then i will do look at the neck nodal change and then i will see axillae and groin nodes and skin i mean all the skin breast and the abdomen then i will request the routine blood like fbc unes calcium lfts thyroid function test and then i will do fnac of that lump if it's non pencil pulse style chest x-ray ultrasound neck ct mri head neck what is your differential diagnosis so depending on the anatomical location of the mass if it's in the midline it's called it may be thyroglossal cyst or it may be dermoid cyst or binal of the thyroid if it's in lateral side of the neck it could be lymph node or branchial cleft cyst and if it's supraclavicular, it will be lymph node. If it's submandibular, preauricular, again lymph node and slivery gland. Infected causes of enlarged nodes may be uh, lymphadenitis, TB, toxoplasmosis, sarcoidosis, and viral. Remember the rule of 80 after 40, 80% of the non thyroid neck masses are neoplastic. 80% of these neoplastic masses are malignant. 80% of these malignant masses are metastatic. 80% of these metastatic uh, malignancies are squamous cell carcinoma and 8% of the mets from the primaries above the level of the clavicle. How would you treat a thyroglossal cyst? So first of all, I will confirm the normal uh, um, thyroid gland by doing the ultrasound scan of the neck and then uh, there are two options and the gold standard is the uh, cyst trunk operation and some people do local exion which occur in recurrence how would you treat a branchial cleft cyst so again make a careful surgical decision and then depending uh, if you're opening the first cleft it will open at the angle of mandible and passes through the branches of the facial nerve second cleft in the middle of the um, anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid between the carotid bifurcation third cleft open the lower border of the uh, sternocleidomastoid and passes behind the carotid artery how would you manage a solitary lymph node in the neck a very important question so we'll take a thorough history with the aim of determining the likely etiology like either it's inflammatory either it's neoplastic like any skin condition eczema rheumatoid arthritis dental abscess recent infective illness or previous malignancy then i will examine the neck and all the lymph nodes mm, all the nodal chain in the neck and air nose and throat including axillae groin and look for an obvious cause then i will ask about any recent infection or illness or previous malignancy then i will request fnac for histology along with the routine blood and uh, i will not uh, do the core biopsy if the fnac shows a squamous cell carcinoma then a biopsy will affect the subsequent dissection margins if, if fnac show uh, a lymphoma then patient needs an open biopsy remember that almost all nodes in the posterior triangle are next to the accessory nerve what would you do if an fna of the node showed squamous cell carcinoma Mm, in that case, the patient needs open external biopsy along with pan endoscopy of the aerodigestive tract to assess for a primary malignancy. What would you do if an FNC of the node showed adenocarcinoma? Uh, so arrange for CT scan of the neck, uh, ab chest, abdomen, and pelvis, bilateral mammograms in a female patient, and OGD and colonoscopy. Uh, <clears throat> in if the primary tumor is found, then this presents the stage 4 disease and patient might be benefited by the chemotherapy. If no primary is found, then I would do an external biopsy to get uh, formal histology with ERP receptors and mucin stains to exclude the breast cancer, melanoma, and lymphoma. How would you do? What would you do if FNA is not showed lymphoma? So I would uh, perform an uh, external biopsy of the node. I would request a CT scan of the neck, chest, abdomen, and consider a bone marrow biopsy to rule out the stage 4 disease. I would determine their disease stage by number of nodal groups, which side of the diaphragm. No, I would refer to the hematology MDT. What are the boundaries and contents of the anterior triangle in the neck? So, anterior triangle of the neck is a midline imaginary line. 
anterior border of cilia to mid and lower border of the mandible so it is subdivided into submental muscular carotid and uh, submandibular triangle so contents are internal jugular vein facial vein retromandibular and external jugular vein lymph node hyoid bone larynx thyroid parathyroid carotid sheath branches of affectional carotid artery and ulnar cervicalis and esophagus what are the <clears throat> what are the boundaries and content of posterior triangle of the neck so it is divided by sternocleidomastoid trapezius and third part of the clavicle it is subdivided into occipital and uh, supraclavicular triangles so contents are accessory nerve this is 11th nerve nodes occipital artery inferior belly omohyoid external jugular vein suprascapular vessels cutaneous branches of the cervical plexus beneath uh, prevertebral fascia um, brachial plexus subclavian artery cervical plexus and phrenic nerve